subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. How bad does the situation look with the economy? Or let me say, let me not load it. How does the situation look with the economy? Because it's not as if pre-corona days, our economy was in the pink of health. We still had declining growth, declining exports and lots of problems. So first of all, um, to all our viewers, let me wish them good health in these uncertain times. Um, so Shekhaji, if we think about the, um, the the COVID episode, I think it's fair to say that uh, none of us, including you know uh, people like you, would have encountered anything like this during you know our our lifetimes. Um, we we've seen you know um, swine flu, Ebola, and others, etc. But nothing of of this kind of magnitude. So. In some sense, therefore, um, we are all living through uh, a, a new set of events. And um, therefore, there, there is significant uncertainty. There's uncertainty on the epidemiological side, uh, on the health side, and on the side. Um, just like other scientists and researchers, we're also trying to you know, make the best estimates uh, in this uncertain environment. Um, I think the and the best proxy to to sort of use to be able to uh, say something you know uh, meaningful about the current episode would be the 1918 uh, Spanish flu. Uh, that's because uh, if we look at in terms of the what is called this R naught, and by now I think a lot of our viewers would have been familiar through WhatsApp I messages, etc. You are said PhDs in R naught now. <laughs> right. So um, the R naught, and I was just reading this uh, th this uh, you know interview by Larry Brilliant, who was involved with the movie Contagion, and he uh, was saying that the R naught for for instance for smallpox was of the order of 3.5 to 4.5. For the common flu is anywhere between 1.1 to 1.3. The Spanish flu was about two. And for you know the COVID, it's about between 2.2 to 2.4. Therefore, the Spanish flu is quite a comparable, uh, you know. Uh, and I think therefore the learnings from that can be quite useful. Uh, in the by far, actually, it is it has been the biggest pandemic so far. And and touch wood, I hope that the COVID does not rewrite history. Um, as of now, if you look at, I think we are far, you know orders of magnitude away from that. So touch wood again on, on, on that aspect. Um, so overall, if we, you know, the Spanish flu, uh, 500 million people were, were, were infected and 50 million people actually, you know, had to suffer death as a result of, of that. Um, what, what is quite important to learn from where there's been now, I mean, research on this flu itself has increased substantially. Um, I want to show a chart um, that, you know, this is for the United States, uh, which, you know, it's in some sense, we're actually, this is like deja vu because the lockdowns and the, you know, uh, the non-pharmaceutical interventions like closures of schools, closures of churches, closures of, of you know, shopping centers, etc. This was something that was seen 100 years back and we're actually seeing the same thing again. So what this chart shows, and you know, uh, I, I, let me actually try and see if I can have that chart um, loaded here.